خواهش میکنم و امیدوارم این دقایقی که اینجا خواهیم بود دقایق باشید که به مدید تلکلی و بقیه زندانی سیاسی سفر فکر بکنیم جای اونا خارج از زندان خیلی خالیه خانواده هاشون واقعا بگرانشونن و من بیشتر از این صحبت نمیتونم این سیاسی آقای اشکبری رو بوش کنیم فقط قبل از اون سفر خوبم مریم یک نامه ای رو به مجید تلکلی برای حقیقت علی، فرزاد و فرهاد نوشته که متاسفانه اعلام شدن رو به انگلیسی میخونه من هم این که از اون به فارسی میخونم و بعد برنامه رو با شما نوشته من این The announcement on Saturday afternoon had worried all of us. They usually announce the executions for political prisoners on Saturdays. An intense sadness took over my body, but Farzad kept saying that nothing was going to happen. He said they were only going to ask him a few questions. He knew what was awaiting him, but as always, he had a positive attitude and tried to make the best of the situation. During all the days when I was free, the uplifting meetings with Farzad and listening to his warm voice were a source of strength for my mother. It made me realize that a human being can achieve anything, even in the worst circumstances. But they killed my older brother, a Kurdish brother whom I loved with all my heart. He was my brother and my teacher, a teacher who represented resistance. He was someone who represented all of Iran's children. I learned from him the ABCs of resistance against the worst form of torture, deceit, and false accusations against people. I learned the role that faith plays in a person's life when they face such hardships. I came to the realization that continuous visits to, uh, to the interrogation rooms and the narrow halls of solitary confinement may defeat your body, but they will never make you surrender or take away your soul, your thoughts, and your opinions. He was my teacher. He was a teacher who taught me to always smile and said that regardless of our differences, we can treat everyone humanely with the respect they deserve. Even though Farzad left us hopeful for the future, he was nevertheless disappointed about a few things. He regretted the fact that a group of people want to confiscate everything and arrest everyone. He was writing a letter entitled, I am an Iranian. I am an Iranian from Kurdistan. His goal was to express the fact that even though being a Kurd meant being subjected to oppression and deprivation, the plight of the Kurdish people with regards to their ethnicity was an important one. He tried very hard to bring attention to the challenges in Kurdistan and the issues associated with ethnicity and minority rights. He was worried and sad until the last moments that because of differences in opinion, attention would not be paid to the ethnic and human rights of the Kurdish people. He was an offspring of the people of Kurdistan and worried about their fate. When he left us, he would have wanted someone to assure him that his ideals and lessons will bear fruit one day. He wanted everyone to know that if the violence, deprivation, and oppression in Kurdistan does not end, many more innocent people will become hostages and be arrested under false accusations, just like he was. Oh, how evil is tyranny when it is fearful that it will no longer be able to commit crimes. The crimes that led Farza to teach us to resent, to resist. They feared his smile and perseverance, and that is why they disconnected the phones. It was this fear that led them to cancel any gatherings and distribute sweets and dates. It was this fear that led them to insist that we not talk of him, even though nothing they said stopped us from keeping his memory alive and strong. It was this fear that led them to resort to martial law. It was this fear that led them to shout that they had executed terrorists when everyone was fully aware that those executed were not terrorists. They are fully aware that, they were no, that there were no bombs involved. They know how they lied to incriminate Farzad. They also know why they sentenced him. Even though they killed him, they were unable to destroy his spirit because his death allowed us to realize that tyranny can never take away the children of our nation without paying a price.